Okay, guys, it's 5.30 a.m. I set my alarm for 5.10, but I um, went back to sleep, and I woke up naturally, which is a lifesaver because I need to um, study the lecture slides for today because, one, I need to pre-read them, but, two, there's a quiz on them, so I really need to. That's cool. A uh, little update. I got this fan right here. I've been heating up during the night, but this fan... It's going to cool me off, and it did. Last night, I slept nice, have the nasal thing on, because for some weird reason, my right nostril doesn't, like, get that much air. I'm not really sure why. It's only my right one. My left one's fine. But these nasal strips really help. So, I'm going to wash my face, and we're going to study. So, and what are we studying? Well, um, endocrine uh, stuff, and it's probably going to be really way more complicated than I know, because my basic... Um, ass knows that endocrine um, puts hormones in the blood. That's all I know. Yeah, a little bit more. And it's about like body fluids. I'm not really quite sure what we're going to learn with body fluids, but I'll keep you posted. Okay, see you guys. Hey guys, it's 8.33. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I have a sweater on. It's cashmere. Very soft. Uh, it gets a little chilly in lecture hall, so I, I'm going to wear it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to drive to class. I should have like 10 to 15 minutes to settle in and keep reading because I'm almost done with one more slide for endocrine, which is what I'm going to be tested on. And then I haven't looked at the slides for the other one because I'm not going to lie, <sighs> procrastinating a little bit, just 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'm going to try during my breaks to look at that third those third slides to get like a lay of the land so that i can stay caught up in class so that's the plan and we're gonna drive over even though it's like 15 minutes it feels like a waste i'm not i think i can do it online but i'm not sure so we're going so that's our safety factor okay what's up guys here's the view so we just had one hour of uh um Patho and physiology, like pathology and physiology, was super introduction, introductory. Um, just basically how disease propagates, and we talked about compensation, decompensation, and how uh, compensation is when your body gets away from equilibrium where it wants to be. Not equilibrium, but its steady state. Where if it gets away from it, like if this is if this is the steady state, and it gets away, like you get too hot, your body corrects it by sweating. If it gets too cold, you shiver, and it gets right back again. We talked about if you get too far away, like even farther, you could die. And that's decomp decompensation. So we talked about that. We had some group learning and we just talked about different diseases and like how they kind of overcome that compensation or decompensation and all that stuff. So that's what we did. And all, uh, yeah, it was pretty easy. Okay, class is starting. We just did a team activity. This is the talking box. It's 2.29 p.m. I'm studying some epithelia. It's like day two stuff, and I got Hamza with me. Uh, What's up, Hamza? So what are we working on? We're working on the epithelia. Yeah, and then uh, we're not scared of the exam at all, right? No, we definitely are scared. <laughs> we definitely are. We definitely are. So that's your update. Okay, so the time is 4.54. We were talking a good amount, so that used a little bit of our time. However, the screen is blank, which means, and I'll tell you, Hamza, what does that mean? That means we're masters of... Epithelium. We're masters, yeah. We got that stuff <laughs> down pat. So, if you have any questions on epithelium in the comments, let me know. So, the time is 5.41 p.m. Heading home, had a very good session uh, with my friend Hamza. We talked about epithelium and all that stuff. So, plan is, I'm gonna learn about the skin, the integumentary system, the fancy name for skin, and I am going to try to learn it on a very deep level. Or something on the road. Um, so I'm going to try to learn it on a very deep level so I don't have to really come back to it. Because I feel like as a, as a learner, learning it, learning it, quote unquote, and then having to come back to it and realizing you don't know anything, what was the point of the first learning, right? So that's the plan. Um, I am three minutes from home. And I'll give you guys a little view of the I was actually biking over there recently. My last video, that was, that's where I was biking. So, yep, I will study skin and I'll let you know how it goes.
Okay, let me tell you something else about Kansas. For whatever reason, I don't know what it is with like the sun, but it is so bright. I don't know if that's even visible on the camera, but the way the sun catches these license plates is just so, so bright. It, oh my God, it's just really, really bright. Just want to let you guys know. If you come to Kansas, uh, wear some sunglasses. It is super bright. Okay, so I just dropped my cousin off at her soccer practice. The time is about 7.30. I've been doing some review on the skin while I was eating, and I'm gonna finish that up, and I'm gonna start a muscle. And then me and Hamza are going to go over it because studying with him was very helpful. And it's also helpful to like stay on track. You know, studying with someone, it's hard to get distracted. So that's the plan. I'm gonna give you a nice little view of Kansas. You know, what you just saw right now, that's all of Kansas. Uh, it doesn't look much different than this. So yeah. So, yeah. so Aisha, what's the time? It is 7.35. And what am, what am I going to do? You're feeding the fish. A job that everyone in this house loves, but I took it. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. They don't like it because it smells terrible. It yeah. does smell very bad. So that's the plan. So let's talk about that team-based learning that is in a lot of DO schools and a few MD schools. It's starting to become a little prevalent. What's the basic premise behind it? Well, you, okay, well, before I say that, let's look at the fish. Look, they can smell it. I don't know if they can see me or if they, oh my God, they're actually splashing. I'm gonna put it, oh, let's put it over here. Oh, let's put it over here. Let's put it over here. Okay, I'm gonna run all the way around and see if they follow it. Come over here, guys. Oh, they're not. Let's see. Oh, wait, are they? I guess even koi fish have limits. They don't want to come over here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so team-based learning. What do I think about it? I think if done properly, it is very good. However, um, you have to do all the learning yourself, which is hard. Now, the slides that we were given are very easy because they wanted us to teach it to ourselves. And then they gave us these problems, which were not too bad. I thought they weren't bad. I thought the other stuff we're doing is harder. It's a lot of logic. The stuff we were doing today was like pathways and if cortisol is increased or decreased, then how will it regulate the receptors in the hypothalamus, negative feedback loop? I thought it wasn't bad. Um, oh, looks like they're not really that hungry, except for that one. Um, I didn't think it was bad. However, if done improperly, and it's very easy to do improperly, oops, let me just, if done improperly, it sucks. So, you know, some people do the reading, some people don't, then you have to catch everyone up. I feel like it's dependent too much on your classmates. So overall, it's okay. They did give an exam, or like a quiz beforehand, which was not graded. And I attended lecture, even though I didn't have to, which I was mad about. But next time it's going to be graded. That might be okay, because then it'll stimulate people to actually do the reading. So I guess that's not bad. Overall, not as good as regular lecture, but I don't know. It was okay. It was fun, definitely. But I don't know how much learning I did. But it was fun. Okay. Okay, so I'm rocking the hoodie. A little chilly, because the AC is blasting, even though it's not too hot anymore. Uh, we had a huge heat wave, which is why the AC has been turned up so high. Anyway, I finished, and a, a part of me, I'm a little tired, but I finished day two lecture. Day one and day two are in the books. I haven't watched the lecture a second time for day two, but I, I feel like I understand it a good amount, so we're good. So the, the skin, epithelia all the layers you know you got your epidermis basement membrane which is made of two layers and then you have your dermis and then they talked a little bit about hair and skin and all that stuff i know that stuff that's good moving on to muscle day three i think i'm going to start it tonight and then i'm going to do the pre-reading i might do the pre-reading in the morning actually i'll let you guys know oh and the time 9 42 so we still got like an hour before we need to sleep so yeah so the time is 10 30 I'm a little tired. I don't know if you could tell with my chipper attitude, but I got seven hours, but it's finally starting to hit me that the whole week I've been getting five hours, so I'm getting a little tired. 
I wanted to go over lecture three, but that's definitely not happening. Now, I could do it. I could, but I wouldn't do the pre-reading for tomorrow. And that's super important because otherwise I'm not going to know what's happening. I could also skip tomorrow, but then I'm going to have to watch it again. I'm going to be behind, so I think I'll just go. But I'll do the pre-reading in the morning. I'm going to approximate I need about two hours, two and a half hours to do that. So I'm going to have to wake up at 5. Maybe 5.30. So I'll see you at 5. Good night. Okay, so the time is 11.02 p.m. I was about to take a shower, but I rem remembered I had to post the video. But iMovie wasn't working, so that was a little odd, but I got it to work. And I was thinking while I was posting a video about a funny story that happened today. Um, so after class, me and Hamza were studying, and he was getting coffee. And I was over here studying, and I heard my name in the background. I was like, oh, that's odd. And this the student was like, oh, uh, and he mentioned Omar. I was like, okay, well, it's a small class, so my name gets thrown around there sometimes. Then I hear him walking over here. I'm like, okay, maybe he wants to study with us. And he's like, Omar. I was like, what? He's like, I saw your videos. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. And he said that he was just searching Cytoskeleton on YouTube for education, and he found me. He said I gave him a good laugh, so that's what I'm here for.